If you've been following my page, you'll know I've been on a three-course meal journey. I've taken you guys through an appetizer, a main dish, and today we're at the final chapter of the journey where I'm going to show you guys how to make an amazing dessert. We're going to start off by making our brownies. And this brownies requires just six main ingredients. It's literally easy to make, requires little or no effort, and you guys, it's so, so yummy. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to get our butter and our chocolate and we're going to pop this into the microwave until it's completely dissolved. So what I'm trying to do right now is to break each egg into a smaller bowl before transferring it into our large bowl and the reason is I want to check that the eggs are good and any egg that I break and the yolk splits it's not um, good for baking. Then we get our butter and our chocolate, put them into the same bowl and mix them. My chocolate didn't completely melt so I'm just going to pop it back into the microwave and let it dissolve completely. We're going to get our egg and sugar mixture and just mix it a bit. Then we're going to pour in our melted chocolate and butter. Ensure that your melted chocolate and butter is not too hot so that you don't cook the egg yolk. Right now we're going to take our dried ingredients and add it into our wet ingredients which is our flour, cocoa powder and a pinch of salt. And we're going to use a wooden spoon and fold it into the wet ingredients. Please use a wooden spoon and not a whisk. So I'm going to get my baking pan and line it with some clean film. You can use baking paper as well, which I didn't have, that's why I'm using a clean film. And add a little bit of fat so that the brownies can come out well once it's done cooking. So before I started preparing the butter, I've already turned on my oven and it's preheating at 180 degrees. So we're going to get our um, mixture and put it into the oven for just 30 minutes. And don't forget, you can either line it with your clean film or if you have a baking paper. And there's one more thing that you guys need to do before you put this into the oven. Or rather, when it's into the oven, there's one more thing you have to do. You have to get this other bowl where you already mixed all the mixture and you have to put your hand inside very important that you put your hand inside and mm, mm, mm. oh wow there's so much chocolate goodness going inside here so make sure you lick this guy this is goodness don't throw it away make sure you lick it Out and let it cool down for about 10 minutes. Let it get completely cool. So we're going to get our knife and slice it through. Look at this here, guys. This is exactly what we want. Crunchy at the top and gooey in the middle. How is that? 